because our numbers show that the average holding period is five years. So those guys, they don't buy today, sell tomorrow. They're long term. They're coming to live. They're coming to raise their kids. So again, our advice to our dear friends, ambassadors of Dubai real estate market, if you allow me to use that term, work hard on attracting people with long term. We have a lot of people investing in Dubai. But what we need more of is institution and investors. What we need more of is long-term investors. Dubai Real Estate Strategy 2033. What is it? What does it mean for us as real estate agents or developers? Well, as I told you, we do what we say, we say what we do. Look at the history of Dubai. We never came up with a plan and did not achieve even before the deadline. So what do we want to achieve from this strategy? Well, our vision for this strategy, we want to be the first choice for international investors when it comes to real estate investment. So this is the vision building on transparency, sustainability, and resilience. So this is our strategy. And what it means, well, it's aligned with Dubai 33 vision. And what is the vision? It says that Dubai by 2033 should be one of top three cities for people to invest, live, and work. We want to double our economy. We want to double our GDP, which means more investors, more funds, more money coming to the country. So I want to remind you of the biggest opportunity in Dubai because we tend to take opportunities for granted, right? And I want you to join me to pay respect to the visionary leader who made this possible for us today and who gave us and many other people in Dubai the opportunity, the real opportunity to be part of building the greatest city in the world. And it's Dubai, right? It's His Highness Subhanahu bin Rashid Al Maktoum who me, you, and everyone and our families cannot be grateful enough. Right? Thank you very much. And I decided to focus on because also other opportunities can distract, can distract us from our objectives. So you spot an opportunity, you decide to, to, to focus on and we stay on course. Again, the same applies to us today, to guys. You real estate brokers spotted an opportunity to be with us today to learn something from those who've achieved what you aspire to achieve in life and to make the most of this opportunity. There are no alternatives to hard work. That's why today is not just another entertaining real estate event. It is the start of doubling down on hard work and focus. When I was thinking and trying to prepare the content of this yeah. event, I had countless ideas in my head. And then I decided, I thought, you know what? I want to focus on what's most relevant to today's market, a market that is witnessing unprecedented boom in the luxury segment. It is mind blowing, and I'm going to show you that in numbers. As I said many times when I was actually inviting you guys to come here, None of what I'm going to share with you today is not backed by numbers, facts, and I'm not sharing with you any fluff or uh, keynote speech that I, you know, that I do in every event. And when we look at the resale market, it was half a billion. It went up to 9.8 billion in 2023 and 12.4 billion in 2024. And we're not done with 2024. We say COVID, we say villas and townhouses. Look at this, 2015 to 2019, that's pre-COVID. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers in COVID. Look at the numbers post-COVID. We're looking at going from 2.9 billion to 7.6 billion, right? And then look at the new norm for villas. This is called sustainability. Every time I say sustainability, I remember Dr. Mahmoud. 
But this is sustainability. Happy? That's why I say, by the way, I'm gonna go back so you don't, I don't lose you. When we came up with the XP Interact, many agents were like, oh, but what if some millionaires are already here with us who basically came to Dubai recently, came to Dubai to stay in Dubai, the same way Dr. Mahmoud said. Um, demand outpacing supply. Everyone talks about demand outpacing supply. No supply, I'm not talking about properties. I'm talking about the luxury segment. There are more luxury properties in this city than there are agents who know how to service those luxury properties. 100%. Right? The off plan luxury market. I'm going to come down so you guys. Or you know what? Let me. I want to read. All right. So, luxury off plan versus ready. When people buy luxury off plan, they look up. If you're presenting an ultra luxury off plan property, it requires a completely different strategy from talking about a ready property. Because ready property is more of an of emotional sales. They want immediate fulfillment by buying the ultra luxury asset and moving in. But for off plan, it's more about capital gain, it's more about numbers, it's more about investment, it's more about the promise for the future, what they can do in the future. Which means in the off plan market, if you have, if you have a mean, and you have all the means in the world when it comes to Qam Jamal Ali, to show people undeniably why do you expect them to make so much money in the future when they invest in Palm Jamal Ali? They will buy from us. And I'm telling you, fan properties and other people, your full-time job should be Palm Jamal Ali. Let's see. Why? Let me show you why. So your role is, is to identify undermined properties. Palm Jabal Ali, when you look at the off-plan projects, and I'm so practical about this, and I want anyone, please, to stand up and to tell me where I am going wrong here. Please, okay? If you look at the off-plan market and you compare it, you compare one, so you have a community here, you have one project on the off-plan, next to it there's a ready project. In most cases, the off-plan project is selling more or less, if not even sometimes higher, than the resale market, right? You get payment plans that you don't get on the resale market. You get a brand new property that you don't get on the resale market, right? Palm Jabal Ali is the only super prime project that is way below its nearest comparables in the market. And you're gonna see this in numbers. It's crazy. It's like the price per square foot on the land is 2,200 versus 10,000 in Palm Jumeirah. It's like five times. Let alone that it's a payment plan. So that's the off plan. Now we look at Jabal Ali as an area. It's like giving you the opportunity to invest in Dubai 30 years back, literally. The attention of the government, I always tell people at Fan Properties, right on the giant's shoulders. If you want to win big within any space, you have to look at the giant in that space and right on the giant's shoulders. Go with the flow, go with the same direction. Don't try to swim against the tide, right? The entire direction of our blessed government in Dubai today is actually focused on Jabal Ali area. It's the expo, it's the largest airport in the world, it's the largest trading hub in the world, it's you name it. It's, you're gonna, if we, if we see today in Dubai and we say the infrastructure is mind blowing, it's actually 0.2 generation of infrastructure that is taking place today in Jabal Ali area. So as an area, the potential of that area to grow is for the coming 40 years. It's the new Dubai. See, master community. You have a ready community, you have an off-plan project that is coming up, and people think that, oh, the minute I buy in this off-plan project, just because I bought in this off-plan project, once it's ready, I'm gonna make money. But it's not always the case. We all know this, right? You make the lion's share of capital gain when the community is not ready. Because the community will bring so much more value than the project, which the project cannot bring. Right? You go in certain communities and you say, when this mall is gonna open, you're gonna make more money. When this bridge is gonna happen, when the metro station is coming, you're gonna make more money. You have all these boxes in Palm Jabal Ali. All these boxes. And you're not investing in a community where the land needs to be reclaimed. 
probably the lands of the villas that have been sold is maybe 100% reclaimed and maybe whatever is coming now in terms of release is almost completed as well. Now people say, but it's a very, very ambitious project. It's not an ambitious project. I don't know exactly how many villas, but this is nothing. Uh, but when we enter, we're going to see construction in the waterfront. This is money. When you bring a mature investor and sees construction and sees more empty land, the, the, the smart investor understands that there's more money to happen. What is it to build a villa? They're not building the tallest, the highest, the biggest. They're building a villa. And the land is there. Right? So it's going to happen. No matter what, it's going to happen. We, I think last week or the week before, the contract with the, the, whatever, uh, I saw an announcement, correct me if I'm wrong, that Dubai Holding already signed with a contractor for whatever villas that already sold, right? So, free and told mind blowing, I said, fast, listen to this. Palm Jumeirah, this villa in front F, on front F, are you ready? You ready? So, it sees the Atlantis, the new and the old, and it was sold nine times. 2008 versus today. 4.6 million in 2008. 128 million in 2024. Right? That's 2,600% capital gain. And that's 185 percent capital gain per year. Please educate me. Wake me up. Have you ever heard of this? Did it go through cycles? Yes. But it's the primest of the prime. If the market goes up, I'm not telling you the market will continue like this forever. No. But if you buy the right asset, when the market goes up, you make more money than anyone else. When the market goes down, you lose less money than anyone else. And that's the thing. You get 63 percent Bigger plot. You get 71%. This is real, yeah? So both these, are, these, are, these numbers are real. They're not made up. You can find these properties. 34% lower price. And you get a payment plan, are you kidding? Lower price on the plot is 59% and on the built up is 61%. You're buying an off-plan property where you struggle to even find an off-plan property that's at the same price as the ready market. Here you're buying 60%, 30%, 40%, 50% less. Look at this. 49% bigger plot, 71% bigger built up, 34% lower price, lower price on the plot 56% and 61% lower price on the built up per square foot. I'm gonna come to you guys. So I know that everyone's awake, right? Honestly, seeing these numbers, you better be awake. Like if these numbers don't wake you up, then I can't help you. That's the third example. 97% bigger plot, 21% bigger built up, 38% lower price. Lower price, guys! You're going to make 2,000% capital gain on this, no matter what cycles we go through. The opportunity today, you bring your investor, they choose the best unit for themselves. Palm Jabal Ali again. Front edge Palm Jumeirah, 33% bigger. 50% bigger. 75% lower price, like... You do your homework you're going to find that these numbers are rock solid. Yeah. And that's the third one. Can you see? Tune in TV show. Branding is more just consistency, pushing it out here over and over. Personal branding is your reputation, making sure that your reputation is over and over and over. Late last year, we closed in $721 million. And we put the contract in total about one million right. You can make that jump. You can burn your boats. No plan B. You come more than they do. That is something that they need. You're going to turn once into needs. You're going to make it positive just like that. You're going to work on it every day. And you're going to change the way you work because you are the greatest advisor in the history of the world. You wake up, you brush your teeth, you look at yourself in the mirror first thing in the morning, you tell yourself that. And if someone doesn't want to work with me today, hey, mom, man, get over there.
What an intro. All right, let's get out of here, bye. All right, sir, Ann, thank you so much for having me. You want to have some fun? Okay, I want to do one quick thing. Wait, Danny, come back. I want Dubai Holding to come to New York and say, no, we're not going to build a tower. We're going to build more New York in the water. That is just so cool. You guys get to do things. You get to sell things here that, that we never will. So I actually, I was thinking, based on how exciting this whole day is and how incredible this trip is every time I come, I think I'm going to leave New York and just move to Dubai. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, but I have no place to live, so who wants to sell me a place in Dubai? I didn't see that many hands. Who wants to sell me something in Dubai? Okay, I'm pretty easy to find. My email is ryan at sirhant, my last name, dot com. First name at last name. And I'm kind of half serious. Every single time I've gone to an event like this and I've spoken to a room full of agents, because how many of you are, are agents? How many of you wake up every day and you want to sell property? Okay, so the majority, right? One of you, every time, everywhere I go, all over the world, from New York to Hong Kong, from Sydney, Australia, to Dubai, I go to Germany right after this, every time, because there's at least one person in this room who wants to do an extraordinary deal. We do ordinary deals all day, but there's at least one person in this room who wants to do an extraordinary deal. And that person doesn't even know it yet. Isn't that kind of cool? That someone in this room doesn't even know yet that they're going to do a career-defining deal this year, next year, maybe in 2026. Maybe like the doctor said earlier in 2033. It doesn't matter. Because by the time the deal actually shows up, who cares about the past? You care about the transaction you're doing today. So that's one huge reason why I'm excited to be here. Because I think the opportunity that you all have here in Dubai is so incredible. This is the most international city I've ever experienced. The languages, the culture, the food, the personalities, it's amazing. Except you don't do exclusive listings. Why? You do them for towers, but you don't do exclusive property agreements with sellers for resales. That's so strange. Why would you waste your time if the seller is not going to commit to you? We should talk about that in the Q&A. Because I'm going to talk to you now for a little bit, and then we'll go back, and we'll come back on stage, and we'll do some questions and answers. I would love to understand how I could help every one of you in this room. Not just list more property, because when you control inventory, you control income. Regardless of whether the market is here or whether the market is here. Because as salespeople, we don't let markets define our income, right? We let markets define strategy. That's our product. And then if you can match attention with skill set, you can be the number one salesperson in Dubai. That's the math. So that was my first unlock, was saying, okay, I've done one transaction with someone where I thought I was gonna die most of the time. But now, how do I do this at scale? So now Facebook is bigger. Now we have Instagram, now you have Twitter, now you have X, now you have TikTok. In China, we have Baidu, we have WeChat. I'm the most followed American real estate agent on Little Red Book in China. We pull a deal off of that social platform once a week. I have one person in my office, his name is Chester. He speaks Mandarin and Cantonese. He takes all of my social content and he puts it on Little Red Book every day. Because people over there want to buy in the United States. Over there they want to buy here too. Are you on Little Red Book? Are you writing in different languages? Are you doing property tours using 11 labs, which is AI, to translate your voice in 10 different countries once a week? Only my hand went up. It's not because I can afford it. It's not that expensive. It's because I want it more. 
because I want to have the greatest global audience for my listings, my properties, my clients than anybody else. And it's all up for grabs now. So my second unlock was what I said earlier. Ah, I'm going to build a following by creating clear, concise, and consistent content that is unique to me. You might be writing, you might be property tours, you might love kitchens. Maybe your consistent content is you cook some kind of meal in every kitchen of every home you show on Instagram. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. No, no, I'm gonna come this way. No, I have a key man clause in my employment contract. Hold up, hold up. Hey, one second, one second. Sorry, this is Ferraz's show. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. All right, put your flashlights on again. We're in the right spot. Oh, that is a huge image of my face up there. Okay, you good? All right, so everyone just make a lot of noise. And then go and tell people that work underneath you, oh, you go do this, go do this, go do this. But why do you think I do everything I do? I'm here speaking to you. I, ju I made, you guys help me make two pieces of social content. We, so we, we, they're already edited. I edited them backstage. I will follow up till you buy or die. Right, we move. And then I go back. I'm negotiating deals in my phone right now while I'm backstage. I'm in emails with my clients. I'm following up with them across the entire deal flywheel. Safe journey home. I know everyone wants a selfie. We'll see what we can do, but uh, safe journey home. Stay in touch with the team at our fan properties as we keep you up to date with yet more game-changing news coming your way. Thank you very much indeed for your presence today. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for being with us at the Coco.